Welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. I'm a fucking idiot, also known as TBG Hunter, and last time we finally caught up with the cons, we got to find out that Benny double-crossed them and is all the way in New Vegas, which is a bit more northwestern up here, but we'll be making it in this video, hopefully. Now you might be wondering why I called myself a fucking idiot. Well, if you were around last time, I would decided to help out the cadets here at Camp Golf to, you know, get a bit more NCR favor and who knows, maybe they'll reward me or something. Sad to say, I did not have enough explosives to teach them the grenade training, so I decided to, you know, go around and see if I could find something to increase my explosives, let alone it would be a Patriot's cookbook. I trekked through the entire Mojave Desert, from here all the way back to freaking Good Springs and the Mojave Outpost. None of them sold a Patriot's cookbook. And here I was about ready to just, you know what, blow up the lake over there and just go on a random killing spree. I was literally 10 feet away from one, from where I pretty much started. You want to go into this tent right here, which is the Misfits tent. Sitting right here on their footlocker, look at this. I am the biggest idiot to ever grace the Mojave, so let's just take the damn thing. I don't care about the Camarillage. You know what? I'm taking their soda, too. Get me into so much shit. Mags, where the hell are you? There you are. Glad to see you haven't gotten yourself killed yet. Glad to see you haven't blown anyone else up yet with those dummy grenades, because seriously, those aren't dummy grenades. Those... that's live ammo. Not even... Alright. Back to the grenade rounds. I'm gonna whip you misfits in the ship if it kills me. And knowing you, you guys, it probably will. Now, if you remember, I needed at least 45 to pass the ex all the explosives check to, you know, finish the quest. So we're going to wait for all of them to finally line up, you know, ever so slowly because they can't be ours to take their time and, you know, show a little hustle even though the military discriminates against people who just lazy about the entire day even though they skip out on their training. <sighs> this army would be much different if I was in charge, I'll tell you that. Alright. So, stats. Explosives, 32. I think I'm going to throw on perception. You know what? Eh, where's my first recon rate? I'll put that on. I'll throw on a. Where is a. Mentets just to be safe. And of course, I get addicted to it. I'll go throw some guns because it actually did get that while I was in between searching here for a uh, Patriot's cookbook. So I'll throw that just in case. And speaking of the Patriot's cookbook, all in all, explosives 48. There should be no reason whatsoever I should be addicted to ment heads. Okay, we've got our dummy grenades and the course is live. We're okay, so set. we just had to do the grenade chant. Completely just wasted that. Guns magazine. Alright, start. Pull pin, let it cook, three, and throw. Right, easy enough. One, two, three. Don't pitch it like a baseball, lob it, and you want a good solid arc. Solid arc, check. Lob them up and over, people. Don't worry about accuracy. Use the grenades to break out clusters of enemies. Hold the grenades for groups, squad. Hit them in clusters and send them running. And that should do it. Yeah, I do. Thanks. I think we might survive this now. We won't go quietly. The Legion can... Glad to see you haven't gotten yourself killed yet. So, how's the squad doing? Thanks to you, I think we're in good shape. The squad seems to be functioning much better as a unit now. Damn right they are! Flags of our Fallops is finished, and now let us get on to New Vegas. Actually, better yet, I think I should probably throw up the quest marker so I don't actually end up getting myself turned around like I was about to right now. Also, probably should throw my combat armor on because, you know, it's new. It's combat armor. It's, it's the series iconic armor next to power armor. And it's time to get a move on. 
back into the dry, dry wasteland of the Mojave. I'm glad that training went well. Also, you serious pipeline? Ugh, gonna have to follow it. But, ladies and gentlemen, as soon as we round this corner, we should be in the shadows of beautiful Vegas. Well, kinda. There's an overpass block in the beautiful shadow, but whatever. Now, I can't go... Oh, hi, big corners. I could go over there where that, like... Do I have a sniper rifle? That's... That... Service rifle's not gonna be doing any good. Well, I could go over there to where that control tower is. That's actually the NCR's main base here in the Mojave. And they do have a couple quests for that, but I'm gonna hold off doing so because there's a quest that ties in over there that ties into a quest I can do for the cons later down the road. So I think it's best I wait till I meet up with the cons again, do their quest, besides uh, subsequently next to the NCR's quest line over at their base, and then, you know, profit. But we're almost there. We've almost reached the outer walls of Vegas. Doesn't mean we're going to be getting into Vegas. We got a little bit more stuff to do before we can actually get into the strip. Actually, what is my special skill? Uh, not special skills. Science 56. Now, the reason is there's a quest line having to do with the outer side of Vegas to get into the strip. However, you can actually pass the quest if you have. I don't know, I think it's 90 science because you need like a hell of a lot of science for it. A future Alex, throw it up. Oh, uh, the area over here, I've never actually explored a bit. Uh, I think there is like a, a quest line accumulated to this. I know there's an area with giant ants and an ant queen, and that's gonna be fun if I ever decide to explore there. What do we have here? Oh, just an NCR patrol. Alright. Well, you know, the NCR and me are, are good friends, good buddy old friend old pals, so I'm just gonna just mosey on by their patrol. Well, the lighting just got weird all of a sudden. Boone, how you doing back there? Good? Alright. Fantastic. Hello, sir. May I pass through? Is there something? I mean, ma'am, sorry. The army fatigues just, you know, disguised you real well. Uh, I can use some directions. I'll help you if I can. What are you looking for? Need a doctor, looking for work, buy and sell things. Eh, buy and sell things. I've got a lot of goodies over my past trek through the wasteland. The Crimson Caravan Company is north of here. They have just about everything you need. Hmm. But if you're in the market for guns, go see the gun runners. They're expensive, but they have stuff no one else carries. You mean like DLC weapons from the gun runners arsenal? Yeah. The Gunrunners is actually, it's probably going to be the location you're going to get one of the most powerful weapons in the game. Hell, it is the location you're going to get a lot of the most powerful weapons in the entire game. They sell a few of my favorites. There are some weapons I will be making my main weapons that we find out in the field. But for now, we're just going to see what they have. And if you remember when we taught the cast back in the Mojave Outpost, way back in the beginning of this series... She said to go visit the Crimson Caravan Company to, you know, help them help uh, buy her caravan out. So, we'll do that. But first, why don't we pay a visit to Gunrunners, which is right here. I'm going the wrong way. It should be right in front of me. Mosey on up over here. Now, this terminal... I don't think it was in the vanilla version of the game. It actually came with an update. Uh, this... It's so random they put this right here. Also, thank you for suffering side effects. Uh, this is the <laughs> companion dismissal terminal. It does exactly as it says. It misses all their comp your companions. So, Eddie would be going back to Prim. Boom would be back at Novak. And I see no use for it. Because we're actually going to be getting a location that... We can put our companions in a nice one little base of operations. So, let me talk to the Vendortron, see what they Hello, have for sale. potential customer. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? I do wish to purchase something. Mm, that's some pretty impressive weaponry. I do like that sniper rifle you have located right behind you. Where did it all come from? All 
all Gunrunner merchandise is constructed on site. And what is this place? This is the new Vegas branch of the Gunrunners, supplying the wasteland with only the finest armaments since 2155. Alright, well, what do you have for sale, robot? I am ready to process our transaction. Now, with the Gunrunners Arsenal DLC, you actually get a few, uh, well, you get unique versions of weapons that only Vendortron here sells. We get the, where is it? Oh, they sell the anti-material rifle this early. The Gunrunner version is actually much powerful than the vanilla version, so I may get that later. It's only 70, uh, it's 7,000, I don't have the caps for it, damn it. Uh, so, Assault Carbine, Gunrunner's Arsenal, Battle Rifles, Gunrunner's Gunrunner Arsenal, which, the only way you could have gotten a Battle Rifle was the unique version that we can get at the NCR's main base. For all you veteran Fallout fans, we got the Bozar from Fallout 2. It's pretty much the unique uh, machine gun, because it's not a sniper rifle, it's a machine gun, which was, I believe it was a... Typo error back when Fallout 2, but they just kept it that way. We get a chainsaw from the Gunrunners Arsenal. They had one in the vanilla game, but sadly, the had no attachments for it. But the Gunrunners Chainsaw actually does. We get Esther, the unique fat man. This has plus 10 to damage threshold and 25 rad resistance. And I'm not gonna lie, it's actually a pretty cool weapon. You it has pretty much a blast shield in front of it, so you're much harder to kill, and you got that rad resistance for, you know, whenever you fire, sh fire a shot. And also, the fact that you can craft Fat Mans and all that stuff in special versions of it with a perk unique to the DLC. And of course, Fat Man itself. We got Gehanna, which is a shish kebab. It actually ties into one of the quest lines to kill some ghouls with this thing. I may actually get it later in the series, because, you know, I've always been a fan of the shish kebab. Hunter Revolver, uh, you can actually find a much powerful version with this later in the game, and you can actually get one for free if you're good at sneaking later in the game. Actually, you can get it right now if you have a high sneak. Hunting Rifle, already have that. Lever Action Shotgun, never really used it. Medicine Stick is pretty much the unique version of the Brush Gun. It's actually a pretty powerful and pretty accurate rifle, so if you have 45 to 70 government ammo and you got plenty of that to burn through by all means get this weapon we get power fist rippers sawed saw off shotgun service rifles silence pistols silence submachine gun single shotgun sleepy time which is the unique uh 10 millimeter submachine gun which actually is the only primary holdout weapon you can actually carry into the casinos two-step goodbye which is i believe a ballistics fist or is it a Power Fist. I don't know. Uh, Future Moon will probably throw it up. And the Varmint Rifle. They also sell a bunch of armor. They got Combat Armor, Combat Armor Reinforced, and Reinforced Mark II, which makes you look like a freaking Starship Trooper. And same with the helmets. Actually, wow, the Combat Helmets Reinforced are actually... That thing's actually pretty cheap for all things considered. The armor, on the other hand, yo, that's expensive, but, you know, I may actually pick the helmet up. A uh, reinforced metal helmet makes you look like a freaking Viking. A recon armor, recon armor helmet. It's kind of lackluster in the armor, in my opinion. Uh, here we got all the mods they have. They have the cell revolver, all that stuff. I may come back and get some mods and then show them off later. But for now, I think I'm gonna skip out, you know, to save up on the caps and how I can get a fair decent amount in one go. Ammo, and that's pretty much it. Sadly, nothing to buy, but you know what? There is stuff to sell, so I'm probably going to just cut to me after selling everything. So, be right be. Oh, uh, sorry, be right back. I can't talk. Alright, a little under a thousand. Not bad. Not bad at all. And, Eddie, where are you? Remember, I give you a bunch of stuff to sell, so let's take that you know keep the vault 21 jumpsuit because you know it's a unique thing welcome sir or welcome madam. sir or madam uh, all right you know just cut to when i finally sell all this stuff to you know cut out the middleman all right 1300 not bad not bad at all all right actually you know what how did you get inside there this kiosk was specially constructed around me 
to deter theft and assault. Damn it, I can't get that sniper rifle. Oh well. I may come back and uh, snag that anti-material rifle right there because it's actually one of my favorite weapons in the entire game. I don't handle buying and selling for the gun runners. Talk to the robot in the kiosk near our factory. So you work with them? For around five years now. I handle the supply end of things, raw materials and stuff. Well, who are gun runners actually? Makers of the finest high-grade weapons and ammunition in the wasteland. If you ever get your hands on a piece of sweet, deadly hardware, there's a good chance that it came from one of our factories. Any chance I could get a tour of the factory? None whatsoever. Everything inside the fence is off limits, and the guards have strict orders to shoot to kill. A lot of our high-end weaponry comes from pre-war military schematics. If our competition got a hold of them, it'd be bad for business. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Well, who's in charge? Out here, we don't have bosses. Me, the gunsmiths, and the guards all know what we're supposed to be doing. Working for the gunrunners is a sweet job. None of us would dare screw it up. And... Well, I'll be getting into the Hand of Caravan pretty soon. May not, maybe not this video, maybe next video, who knows. But I know for a fact everyone probably wants me to finally get into Vegas. They want me to get into Vegas because it's been so long. This is Fallout New Vegas. Where the hell is Vegas? All right, so fine. We're going into Vegas. Although we're not really going into Vegas, we're going to be going into Freeside. We've come a long way from Good Springs, might I say. From Good Springs to the Outpost to Novak to Boulder City. We've pretty much covered all of Green Valley. And now we've reached the slums of Vegas. Yeah, well, you know, at least I'm armed to the teeth and I got two companions to follow through. Who? What? Okay, I'm seeing bodies burning already. It must be Vegas. Dude had a knife. Eh, that's a really good to pilfer from his body. Let's have a look around, you know? Get get a feel of the locale. So far, unimpressive. What the? Uh, this just smells of desperate ambush. Oh, hey, cool, a dead body. Check it out, between the dumpsters there. Oh look, a body! I really should get going because I've already seen about a billion of them already. What's your rush? The boys and I here want to get to know you better. Really? What well, about you get down to my gut? Wow! <laughs> Jesus, Boone, you're really on the ball. You know, I think I might have, you know, taken back of getting angry at you for murdering an old lady that one time back in Helios. Hey, look at that, we leveled up. Alright. Explosives! Going up to 40. Uh... <laughs> survival, I still don't ever use it, so I don't really see a reason to have it. Guns? <sighs> I want to say guns, but at the same time, I don't. Hmm. I guess we can put five in energy weapons. I'm going to try and use those a bit more. Repair... Yeah, we'll go to science, give it an even 55. Alright, let's see what we have for sale. Level 10, and a uh, fight the power! You've had enough of the so-called authorities pushing poor folks around. You gain 2 damage threshold and 5% critical chance to anyone wearing the faction armor of the NCR Legion or the Brotherhood of Steel. It's kind of good if you want to go for an I hate everyone way, and you know, I... I am going to be fighting the Legion a lot in this playthrough, however, I just don't really see myself getting it. Plus, critical chance I never really have anything to do, and just two damage threshold is easy to do with armor. Fitness. With this, you have a higher chance of scoring a critical hit on an opponent in combat equivalent to five extra points of luck. Again, luck doesn't really play a big factor into this, so sadly I can't. Here and now, here and now, you perk immediately grants an additional experience level to complete with all the advantage <coughs> advantages it brings. I'm probably going to consider getting this one because it's pretty much a, you know, free extra level. 
Nerd Rage, you've been pushed around long enough. With Nerd Rage perk, you gain strength. Your strength is raised to 10 and you're and you gain 15 damage threshold whenever your health drops to 20% or below. Basically, glass cannon. Night person, don't ever get unless you're doing a nighttime run. When the sun is down, a night person gains 2 in both intelligence and perception up to a maximum of 10. This perk directly affects your internal clock and remains active both inside and out outside. Basically, from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., this perk is active. However, I really don't dictate whenever time I decide to just, you know, do these videos. So sadly, I'm gonna have to skip out on Night Person. I'm gonna get here and now. Because, you know, free extra level. There's the drums. And here's the level. Now, I can go with lockpick, bring signs up to 60, order to 45. If I have the speech, because I haven't put anything to speech in a while. Eh. You know what, screw it, I'll put one into survival just for the hell of it, because I'm sure people have asked me to put something in survival. So, there we go. So far, so good. Not bad, not bad at all. Now, I'm going to be heading back here. There is actually an armor quest having to do with this location. And also, there's this kid over here. If I can talk to him. Kid. Kid. Reach for the sky, mister. Kid, do you see what's on my back? You might want to have the role reversed. Can I buy that gun from you? This is the best gun in the whole galaxy. I paid a million caps for it, and it wasn't even- <coughs> Bullshit! <coughs> yeah, but your heavy- But your heavy use has really depicted- Bleh, Your heavy use has really depicted its value. It's only worth 20 caps now. Oh man, it's Stacy's fault. She pretends like she didn't get hit. That's still a lot of money. I guess I'll take it. Eh, hey, maybe you should take a break. You look tired. I don't really like to go to bed until it gets... Go to bed! Alright. Well, this, sad to say, is I made completely useless, is the Euclid Seafinder. Also, friends keep mes messaging me. I should have sent myself to private. Use Euclid Seafinder is worthless. Literally. Uh, it has to do with the Helios 1 Pos Poseidon energy uh, choice at the end. Archimedes. The medic. Sadly, since I didn't choose the Archimedes side, I can't really do anything with the Euclid Seafinder. However, I will actually show it off in the uh, extra, extra, read all about it, bonus and extra segment at the end of the video. But for now, we're going to head into the shop. And the reason is that there's A, a, a mark quest I can do here. B, there's actually more guns I can get here. And C, I just want to go. You might be asking why I'd be selling the Euclid Seafinder. Hell no, it's still considered a unique weapon, so there's no reason to sell it. Hello, good sir. If you're looking for guns, talk to Mick. Otherwise, I've got a nice selection of general supply. Take again. What do you have for sale? Just aid and useless stuff. Scrap metal, conductor of chlorine. Hmm. Well, let's go talk to Mick. See what he has to say. The hell? For a, second, for a second, I thought there was a dead rat on the floor. But then again, it's the wasteland. You can't be too surprised Welcome to, to Mick see and that. Ralphs. If you need guns, I'm your man. For general supplies and other services, see my partner, Ralph. How's business? Things were better when the Omertas were buying, but we get by. Good selection from traders, and the Van Graffs keep things running. Uh, what's the deal with the Omertas? That's the thing. I have no idea. They just stopped buying guns all of a sudden. If you hear anything, let me know. Will do. Now, that just gave us an unmarked quest. Anything else I can... Uh, what guns do you have for sale? Have... So far, 
pretty lackluster. Oh, but yeah, they sell the Nuka Breaker, which is actually a reference to the fan-made Fallout movie, which, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's actually pretty good. Little Devil, which is the .27 millimeter uh, pistol special edition. Katana. It's a katana. Anything else he sells? Tire Iron, Switchblade. Embrace the Mantis Cane, which is a unique Mantis Gauntlet. Has really high critical damage, so if you're a critical user and have high luck and perception, and doing a run of um, unarmed because it is considered an unarmed weapon, not a melee weapon, then by all means get this. But, you know, I'm not seeing anything that, you know, suits my taste. I wonder, do you have any special items for sale? Why? Do you work for one of the casinos? No. In that case, yes I do. Follow me. <whistles> like I always say, a polite society is an armed society. And now he actually sells a hell of a lot more stuff. He sells a grenade machine gun, which is overpowered to all hell. And actually, I can actually get one this early in the game. Wow, I can actually afford it. I can actually get a katana too, but nah. He also sells some power fists, rippers, saw blades, sawed off shotguns. Basically, a wider variety of views the you do you have more stuff for sale? He also sells cram. Too bad it's not multi-purpose cram, or else I would buy it. And now, if you actually look back here, there's if you're a big Fallout 3 fan, you'll actually recognize a few weapons. Like, there's the railway rifle, there's the infiltrator, there's... That's a minigun. I think that's... I think that's the tribeam plasma rifle. <laughs> There's the sniper rifle, lever action rifle, shotgun, ripper, super sledge, another infiltrator, a Chinese pistol. Uh, I think that's a throwing hatchet you can actually do buy in this game. A rolling pin, plasma grenades, what the hell is... Wait, what? Come on. Cell door inaccessible. For a second I thought I could pitpocket some of the stuff back there, but it's not... Oh. I could get the Naughty Nightwear duffel bag, which is completely empty. There's a golf club. So this is a little fanfare room for all the Fallout 3 weapon fanatics. But now, it is time. Time to make our way towards the strip and see if we can finally get in. If not, we do have a few jobs to do around the free side. So we'll do that. And we'll have a good time doing it. Why? Because I said so. That's why. I have got to stop going into buildings and staying till the wee hours of the night, I swear. Mailbox. Who th who mails a tire iron? Camera? I can see that as like some like conspiracy theory, you know, Secret agent spy person mailing a camera to someone with, with like photo negatives of stuff. Some kids chasing a rat. I'll oh, help you, kids. Zap. Ugh. I think I overcooked it for you, kids. Thanks, Mister. Definitely overcooked it. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping. I was just that Mick and Ralph's little boy. Ah, it wouldn't be Vegas without, you know, Elvis impersonators. It truly is my kind of town. I don't know. I'm just being weird, because, you know, it's that it's that time of day. Or more, more likely night, because it's actually being recorded at 9.03pm on a, on a Friday. Huh, nice robot. You were the followers or something? No, nah, not really. I feel like how Eddie just like turned and was like, "Really, dude? Really?" 
Well, there's the strip skate. You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. And why would wouldn't I want to get past the greeter? Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. Oh, well, thanks for the free advice, but I just got a question. Who are you? The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. Alright, well, what's your story? I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Courier? I used to be a courier before I got shot in the head. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. A uh, butcher? How did you get into that? My father ran a butcher shop here in town. But business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. That sounds odd. You're telling me. Not long after my father's shop went under, and he passed away from the loss, people around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. It wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying told you so. Can someone really die from a feeling of loss? I mean, I know it's a... De depressing matter but still you were a crier um, what was that job like after a while I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas back then you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now well I got a job working as a crier outside of the tops advertising for the local talent performing at the casino that didn't last long what happened well being a suave young guy I chatted up the ladies from time to time and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. Oh, that's horrible. Eh, you know what? Wrong place at the wrong time if you ask me. Yeah, shit indeed happens. I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. Ha! Ah! You say escort, like armed guards? Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds better than man whore. So you got paid for sex? Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. Hmm. Alright, well, what about being a gun for hire? When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living. And I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again. And after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. So, you're going back to Vegas, or... what? Oh. Nothing. Alright. Hello, kind r murderous robot person. Submit to a credit check, or present your passport before proceeding to the game. Trespassers will be shot. And, wow, you really do need a lot of science for this. It was eight, I was off by ten, but still. Alright, so what's this credit check for? Admission to the strip requires an official passport or proof that you're carrying the required minimum balance. These policies prevent less reputable persons from entering and ensure a good time will be had by all who enter the strip. Alright, well, I'll submit to the credit check. I have 2,000 caps. You don't, contrary to what people believe with this, you don't need to just pay the robot 2,000 caps. You just need to have 2,000 caps on your person to pass the check. Thank you, sir. You may proceed. Uh, robot? Wow, they do not mess around. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we finally made it. The Vegas Strip. The City of Lights. The City of Sin. The City of... 
give me a minute, it'll come to me. However, we're not going to be visiting the Strip right now. A, because, you know, there's some things to do here in Freeside I actually want to get wrapped up before I actually, you know, forget about it. And also, B, I want to be a little bit, you know, cliffhanger-y for this one. So next time on Fallout New Vegas, we are going to do some work around Freeside, you know, increase my reputation around here, get a few more caps, maybe buy a few guns. And then, after that, we'll be heading to the New Vegas Strip. See you guys next time. Later. Submit to a credit check or present your password before proceeding to the game. Trespassers will be shot. <laughs> There are a lot of things to cover in this part's alternate and extras, especially since one of them I forgot about in the last part, so let's cover that one first. What I missed out on was an unmarked quest in Boulder City, on purpose for the main LP, because to activate it, you kinda gotta be a dick and damage the NCR memorial there. Hey, I said it was a dick move. And you can crank that dickishness up to 11, which net gets you the entire NCR garrison shooting at you. Or you can pass a 30 speech check and apologize to net some slight experience. You're desecrating a war memorial. Alright, apology accepted. Don't let it happen again. Bye. Now it's time for the alternate ways you can finish Flags of our Fallops. Probably the easiest of all of them is the Tato Hanahan because all you need to do is just pass a 40 speech check with all the misfits to get them to work together. That's right. Folks just don't talk to other folks. And everybody's always cross with each other. That'd be swell. Only if they knew the idea came from me, they probably wouldn't take you serious no more. So maybe you ought to think about it first. And I sure hope you're more convincing than I am, or they ain't gonna listen. Hmm, you're trying to appeal to my ego. I must admit it's an effective tactic. All right, I'll help. But only because I want to see if it's even possible. You really think so? Hell, I guess it's worth a shot. Shit, maybe you're right. Guess I ought to give him a shot. Poindexter's idea is considered the worst choice in the long run. He will want you to hack into two computers in the main building at the camp. One is in the lobby, the other is in the back room with a 75 science check. The lobby one is unlocked, but you get NCR infamy for doing so. And the back one gives you no infamy, but you need to have a high science check to pass it. So, pick your poison. Once done, head back to Poindexter and you'll gain NCR fame to cancel out the infamy if you chose the lobby option and some experience. My friend, I am without doubt a genius, but I must say, you've given me a run for my money. Bravo. Bravo. Last and probably the longest choice is Raz. He wants you to go and get every squad member on Psycho to boost performance. To do so, you need to travel all the way across the map to Red Rock Canyon, aka the Con Base. Alternatively, you could leave Good Springs and travel north for a faster route, but the path is crawling with Cazadors, so watch out. Once there, talk to Con named Jack, get the package from him, and head back. And that's it, you're done. Last thing I want to talk about is the Euclid Sea Finder you can get from the Kid in Free site. Now, I won't be able to show it or use it in the main LP, but it's still worth showing off because it is considered a unique weapon. It's really high damage and has a good amount of range. However, it takes a good while to charge up and only can be fired once per 24 hours in game. And also only outside. And 
that will pretty much do it. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next time.